And it's got those wires hooked up to my knee. Hey guys. So I injured my knee, my knee is meniscus about three weeks ago. And one doctor said I should do some rehabilitation and therapy sessions for about a month before he reassesses to see if surgery is needed. So I've already had three sessions. This is some footage from my fourth session about uh, letting, guys, letting you guys know what happens in a physiotherapy session. Check it out. Right. Hey guys. So I told you I'm taking these therapy sessions for my knee. I injured my knee about three weeks ago and I'm on therapy session number four right now. And with the right tools, everything works better. One of the cool tools that this physiotherapist has is an ice water machine that pumps ice water through a, a sleeve that goes over my leg, over my knee, and it compresses it with cold, with a coldness uh, for a good 15 minutes to try to relieve the the pressure and the the swelling and to reduce also the pain too it's pretty cool check it out so that red container thing with the blue light is the actual machine the motor with the like the ice ice water in it and the water travels through this tube that goes into the sleeve that's on my leg and it feels good if you've ever had your blood pressure taken on one of those sleeves on your arm, it feels exactly like that. So now we have this electronic stimulation machine hooked up and Branco, the physiotherapist, is shocking my knee joint to make sure it's stimulated and working and growing and helping along with the rehab process. So there's the machine saying that it's maybe sending Around 50 to yeah, around 50 maybe volt amps, how many ohms? And it's got those wires hooked up to my knee. I barely feel it. I don't feel any kind of shocks or pulses. But after every session it feels better and there's the mobility is better and the swelling and pain are reduced. So it's doing something. That's really good. So I try to be a healthy adult, try to eat right, exercise, be strong and healthy. But there's times where when there's an injury, you have to have some kind of corrective rehabilitation, maybe surgery or some kind of therapy. The way I view Christianity is my daily walk with God is a, a healthy spiritual life where I want to pursue God, read his Bible, pray, live according to his Bible, and as I receive his love, share his love with others. But there's times where there needs to be some kind of corrective action that, that is necessary in our lives. And so that's where counseling comes in. Now I've got this book titled Counseling Through Your Bible Handbook and it says um, providing biblical hope and practical help for 50 everyday problems. There have been countless times where I turn to this book as a reference. If somebody comes to me about a crisis situation or if I'm facing a very difficult thing, I can turn to this book, whether it's about anger or decision-making or hopelessness, depression, whatever it is, I can turn to scriptures. I can turn to this handbook that turns me to, that directs me to scriptures about what does God say about this? And it becomes almost of a, a corrective therapy session for my spirit, which allows me to line myself up according to the Word of God and receive healing, receive hope from God in that way. I realize I didn't give you much information about this book, but it's by June Hunt, and I'll leave the link below in the description just in case you want the Amazon affiliate link to check it out for yourself. So whatever you're going through, comment down below and share how the Word of God has helped you bring counsel, bring correction, bring healing in some area of your life when you need it the most. If you like this video, please like, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one. God bless you.